Okay, these are oil pastels. They're they're not like colored pencils. They're very like they're like paint on a stick. Um, they are very mushy and stuff like that. And there's a a drawer full of these boxes. Keep in mind they're already dirty and and messed up. So if you really don't want the messed up color, you just you clean it off by using the side of the, you know, you can clean it up if you want to, but it's not going to be perfect, and I don't want perfect color. So if you want to clean it up a little bit, you can, um, but the, the, the dirty colors work just as good because it's not really asking for perfect colors. Okay, so I'm going to work, go down and show you a couple of tips. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do the whole thing. So... Let us talk about pressure, and that's the first part that's kind of hard, is how much pressure to put in. Okay, I'm going to use three colors, light strokes. So I'm going to lightly stroke this. Now, this one, same colors, dark, heavy strokes, I'm going to push onto the surface. Now, you can tell that there's a, it was a little dirty, so that's why it's like that. So now I'm going to take a second color. I'm going to take an orange. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but not too much. And l do light colors, and I'm going to overlap a little bit so the two kind of touch each other. And this one's dark. I'm going to push and overlap. Okay. I'll maybe go a little farther down. Light, light, light. Okay, so then the last one is I'm going to do red. And so this time I'm going to do light and overlap. And this time I'm going to push darker and push into each other. They Basically, they mix better when you push like that. But you can still have some neat things that happen that way. Okay, now this one, you can do where you, you really do blend into each other a lot more. So I'm going to change colors. Let me do blue. Now this is your blue. There's another one that looks like this. This is a blue-green. Don't mix the two up. I don't know if you can see the difference of them. One looks like one looks like this. That's the blue. That's the blue, and this is the blue green. Okay. So if you see that that looks okay. So there's there's two different blues. So this one's a blue green, and this is a blue. Don't get the two mixed up. And I think there's a darker blue. Let's look at that one. Nope, that's purple. So I recommend that you always test. There's our other blue. You always test these before you actually start using your mixing. So I'm going to do three colors and uh, I'm going to use these. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do green. All right. So I'm going to do light pressure. But I'm going to go a little farther. Take my yellow, overlap, it's about the same as that one but not really the same. And now I'm going to move this one on top of it. So now we have those, those colors kind of mixed together. This time I'm going to do heavier and so there's no paper coming through. push it, it ends up moving the, 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 the it around. And then here's my green with my white. It's kind of neat with the white, not the white, the yellow. Okay. All right. So that's just, those are, those are blending two, two or three colors. Okay. So let's go down to this one. This is the fun part of this class. Um, when you do this, you, you're you're going to find that um, 
you'll like this part. Okay, I'm going to choose one color. I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to add white. And basically, you're mixing the color. You mix the color. Okay, so then you do the same thing. And then you take a black and you blend the black on it. If you want to, you feel like you need to put more green on it, you add more green to it. So it changes the green. This one is, you take one color and be heavy. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to push down really hard on it. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and do Strafago. This is Strafigo, which is like, it's Straf it's it's graffito. Stru, stru, it's like graphic. I'm not, and you can go all kinds of different ways. I don't. This is not necessary for all of them. Okay, you're trying to show that you're you're doing something different. Okay, I'm gonna do pink, and then I'm gonna do purple on top of it. That's not gonna want to do it. It's two different colors. So this time, the pink will come through. If you did this with other colors, it would be other colors. All right, so then I'm not going to do all of these, but you can do the rest like yourself. Blend red and yellow and see what happens. Blend blue and yellow and see what happens. Blend blue and red and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to take red, and I'm going to go and blend. more than half and then take yellow and blend up okay I'm going to do the same th I guess I'm going to keep going take my blue which one's my blue which my blue take that blue and overlap with yellow. And yellow and blue make green. Okay, next one is blue and red. Let's try the other blue. Let's use that one. See what you get on that one. You get purple in the middle. Okay, and then the last one is yellow and purple. And there you have a neutral color. That's what happens when you mix colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel.